Hey guys, we're in the end game now, so I should probably post some end game predictions because I did this last year for Infinity War. I got it entirely wrong, but I wanted to do it again anyway because it just somehow calms me down a bit to talk about what I think is going to happen, sort of. To be honest, I'm just torturing myself more, but I'm just going to go with it anyway and tell you what I think is going to happen in Endgame slash what I want to happen. First prediction, Loki is still alive and he escaped off the ship with Valkyrie because, quite frankly, Loki disappeared for four minutes after he said, we have a Hulk. When he turned back up again, he suddenly was left-handed. Loki, in every other film, has always been right-handed. The only other time he's used his left hand in a fight is just before he died in Thor The Dark World. And we all know how that works. He didn't die. And quite frankly, Loki is the Marvel cockroach. The dude survived getting Hulk smashed. You're telling me that a little neck squeeze killed him? My ass did it, quite frankly. And quite frankly, if he did escape with Valkyrie on the ship, I do think he is actually Bruce Banner because that would explain why Bruce A knew so much about Thanos and the Infinity Stones when he really, really shouldn't have. Also, it would explain why Bruce cannot turn into the Hulk because Loki cannot turn into the Hulk. And that is just my theory because I can't believe that he's dead because he's Loki and Loki doesn't die that easy, especially when he got Hulk smashed and survived. And in the comics, he goes, finds the Ego Stone to help the Avengers. So I'm praying that's true, quite frankly. I think also Tom hinted at it a couple of times as well. He could have been talking about the TV series, but quite frankly, in my mind, Loki will always still be alive and I'm going to cling to that hope forever that he's actually still alive because i mean the sun has to shine on thor and loki again and if it doesn't shine on them in wakanda while they're both still alive not gonna be happy on the flip side of loki actually still being alive i do think tony steve and thor are actually gonna die in this one because i said this last time and quite frankly their contracts are running out and we all know that chris evans has said that he's not playing captain america after this film anymore so i think possibly they're gonna kill him and tony and thor and it's gonna break me but i think it's gonna happen i genuinely think they're gonna kill them that being said i don't think we're gonna be left without a thor figure i reckon valkyrie is gonna pick up the hammer and become thor because we obviously have female thor in the comic it is jane foster but i don't think they'll get jane foster back for it and quite frankly valkyrie is now a fan favorite and i think so many people would be so happy to see valkyrie pick up the hammer and become basically Thor. I would love to see Valkyrie become Thor, if not her, Lady Sif. I would love to see Valkyrie or Lady Sif as Thor. They are worthy beyond measure and quite frankly having a superpowered Thor female badass would just be incredible. I would love it. I also think Gamora is going to be brought back to life because the Russo brothers said ages and ages and ages ago that Gamora is actually in the Soul Stone. So she's not technically dead. So they could possibly get her back out of the Soul Stone, which I really want to happen because I want her and Nebula to deal with the final blow against Thanos. And quite frankly, Gamora deserves to live. Peter does not deserve to live. Gamora, on the other hand, definitely does. So I reckon they're going to bring Gamora back. Obviously, all the Ash people are also going to come back to life alongside Vision because, well, there's a WandaVision TV show. So Vision has to come back to life and so does Wanda. Wanda was one of the Ash... You've got to bring them back. Also, all the Ash people are the new characters of the MCU and you can't really kill the big three of the MCU and then not have anybody to replace them. Especially when Black Panther, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man all have sequels coming out. So they're all going to come back. I'm certain of it. All the people who died either by ashing or by Thanos' hands are going to survive and come back again. Something I do want to happen is Carol Danvers, Okoye and Valkyrie all becoming friends. I think they would become really good friends because they all have not exactly similar backstories but they all have very similar levels of badassery and semi-similar personalities. I'd really love to see them all become friends because then it's sort of like a hint at A-Force and I'm desperate for A-Force so I'd love for them to become friends and then become the A-Force with obviously like Wanda and Shuri and Pepper and anybody else who can turn up as an A-Force character. At the very least I think Nebula may deal with the final blow to Thanos but I would prefer it if she teams up with Gamora to do it but I will just take Nebula dealing the final blow because I think out of 
like everybody, Gamora and Nebula deserve to deal the final blow to kill Thanos for good. I also think that Hawkeye is going to survive, but he will lose his hearing because it's something that hasn't happened in the films yet. It's something very, very prominent in the comics and that a lot of people have complained about. And Kevin Feige has said that he wants to make the MCU more diverse going forward. Now, a good stepping stone to this would be to making Hawkeye deaf like he is in the comics. Because I'd love to see some more diversity in the MCU and it would make him more comic accurate, which I would really love to see. Another thing I'd love to see is them to do the circle thing again like they do in the first film, Assemble. I would love to see them all again doing the circle thing because I think it would make it really come full circle literally and you could really do some really nice gif sets of assemble versus endgame and how much they've all grown and changed i would love it and it'd be a beautiful callback to basically the first team up film that started it all and kicked everything off fully in this universe also on that line i would love to hear steve say avengers assemble because We've been waiting for it for so long. We need to hear him say assemble in this film because they've teased it and teased it and teased it and teased it. I would love to hear him say it. Though it probably make me cry, but I'd still love to hear him say it at last. As long as it's not his final words. It better not be his final words. God, I would... That would end me. I mean, this film's going to end me anyway, but if Steve's last words are Avengers Assemble... I'll need a box of tissues just for that moment of love. Speaking of Steve's last words, I do think his final words are going to be I can do this all day because he says that quite a lot in the films. It's kind of sort of his catchphrase and quite frankly, I think it would make his death even sadder because it was one of the first things we heard him say in his first fight in First Avenger before he becomes the First Avenger and then he could be the first Avenger maybe to fall or something, or maybe the last Avenger to fall, I don't know, but I feel like, again, it would bring Steve full circle. I also think that Pepper's going to be pregnant with Tony's baby because, obviously, it was hinted at in Infinity War, and I think it'd be a good thing to do because then, even though Tony won't be in the films anymore, and I know Gwyneth Paltrow is also leaving after Endgame, but I do think it'd be quite nice in the films and maybe the TV shows to have sort of maybe background news reports or something about Baby Stark, which would be quite nice. And then in about maybe 20, 25 years or something, I don't know, maybe they could have that character become Iron Man or something to honour their father. I think that'd be quite nice. And also it keeps sort of like the Stark legacy going, I guess. I'd, I'd hate for Tony to die out and that'd be the end of the Starks. I really want him to have a baby. But I want him to raise that baby. It's a double-edged sword. It's such a double-edged sword because it's like, yes, give Tony and Pepper a baby, but then Tony dies and can't raise it. It's a thing. I, oh, it's a, it's such a double-edged sword. I think, I want Pepper to be pregnant, but at the same time, if Tony dies, I don't want him to miss out on raising his child. Oh, I want it, but I don't want it. I think that's how I'm going to put this. I want it, but I don't want it. Now, this next one is going to contain semi-spoilers from the set photos, so if you don't want to know anything, uh, mute this video now until I do this, and then obviously unmute. But I think, judging by the set photos, I do think they are going to be travelling in time, because there are obviously a lot of set photos where it calls back to Natasha at the beginning of Civil War. There's Avengers Assemble set photos, including Loki, thank God and stuff like that so i do definitely think time travel is going to be involved which is slightly odd because they don't have the time stone and they don't have doctor strange so this is going to be fun first bit of time travel in the mcu and steven's not there but i'll deal with it now that i've said that it's time to unmute and on to the next one i do think the sun will shine on thor and loki again because the Tesseract does show visions of the future and Loki has practically mastered the Tesseract at this moment. He's definitely seen into the future. He's had time to plan this. He was holding the Tesseract when he said it. The sun has to shine on Thor and Loki again. If it's in Valhalla though, crying. I mean, I'm going to cry when Loki turns back up anyway in any form. So it's just tears all around quite frankly. But if they have to meet in Valhalla and that's where the sun shines on them, gone. 
entirely gone. I do think as well that if Tony dies, he will become an AI like Jarvis because it is actually stated in one of the comics, I'm not entirely sure which one, but Tony falls into a coma and becomes an AI like Jarvis. And I do think that would be a perfect way to keep RDJ in the MCU because he has said that even when Tony does get killed off, he does want to stay on in the MCU. And he could be kind of like the cameo guy, you know? And we can still sort of have him talking in the background, sort of like Jarvis. And it's a callback, obviously, to the original Iron Man films with Jarvis. And it also keeps Tony's memory alive. And I desperately, desperately can't deal with Avengers films or any type of Marvel film without Tony Stark. I would just love to hear his voice in an AI that everybody can, like, talk to, especially Peter, because Peter needs him. So I really want Tony to be an AI just to keep RDJ in the MCU, keeps Tony's memory alive, and also he's sort of like the new cameo kind of thing, and so Peter and everybody else can still talk to him because I really want it. I really want him to be an AI if he dies because then it's, he's still technically alive. Technically, he's still alive and everything is fine. Also, after Tony's death, I do think Shuri may become the Ironheart. Obviously, it is a different character in the comics, but even so, in the comics, the character is a woman of colour of 16. And Shuri is a woman of colour of 16 and also a genius like the original comic counterpart. She's also a tech genius and, quite frankly, her like repulsor things in Black Panther are quite similar to Tony's. I would love to see her become the Ironheart or at least allude to her becoming the Ironheart. I would love it. On the subject of people taking over other people's mantles who are currently dead, I do think Sam aka Falcon will become Captain America while Bucky continues as the White Wolf because I know a lot of people want Bucky to be Captain America, but he's had so many name changes. He's gone from Bucky to the Winter Soldier to the, to the White Wolf. I don't like the idea of him then becoming Captain America and just sort of changing names every couple of years. I'd love for him to remain the White Wolf and be sort of like the Sam to Sam's Captain America. Also, I think it'd be really cool to see a POC Captain America as well, because, again, more diversity in the MCU with main characters as, obviously, POC, which would be absolutely brilliant. And also, I think Sam deserves it, quite frankly. He's the only one who isn't a super soldier, but he still holds his own beautifully against everybody else. I would love to see him as Captain America. The only thing with this is that they have already decided that they're making a TV show called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But considering Bucky's called the Winter Soldier, I reckon they're going to change that before it actually comes out. And they've just called it that for now, for the announcement, so they don't spoil Endgame. So I am holding out hope that Sam becomes Captain America and Bucky remains as the White Wolf. And both of them sort of come, become like a team-up buddy cop thing. Because... I'd love that and I'd still love to have a Captain America in the MCU in some form or other. I do think also that the Sokovia Accords are going to be lifted simply because the government cannot, like, justify keeping such tight control on the Avengers after Thanos has happened because if they do, they could react too late again and then something else like this could happen again and the Avengers won't be around to save them. So I think they are going to lift the Sokovia Accords because... It's just stupid otherwise, because clearly they were wrong about trying to control the Avengers, because if the Avengers hadn't been around, or if the Avengers had been stopped from stopping Thanos, a whole lot of people would have died, and it would have ended a hell of a lot quicker. And then finally, I'm going to go back to another theory that I had for Infinity War that I do think still is going to happen in this one, and that is the books in Wong's library are all going to be to do with the Infinity Stones, because as we all know, one of the books in Wong's library has to do with the Time Stone and the books on that shelf all look very different from the rest of the books in the library. They've got all glowy bits on them. And if one book is all about the Time Stone, surely the others are about the other Infinity Stones because that would make sense. And also, we know that Wong is going to be in Endgame and quite frankly, use him as the librarian and use him to get the information about the stones so they can do something to save the world. You know, it makes sense. Use Wong. Wong is clever. Use him. So I reckon that's going to happen. If not, I'm going to be really annoyed because I have 
been thinking about this ever since I watched Doctor Strange for the very first time. So if I'm wrong, I'm going to be rather annoyed with myself. <laughs> but I do think it's true because why would they make so many books that look so different from the rest of the books in the library and have one to be about the Time Stone without it all being about all the Infinity Stones so that they can use against Thanos later? Just why? Just it doesn't make sense. I pray that I'm right on this one. I really do because otherwise that theory has been in my head for three years and I was wrong. And quite frankly, I don't like being wrong about these things. So I'm hoping I'm correct. And that is everything I predict for Endgame. I'm sure there's stuff I've missed out, but quite frankly, this video is long enough without going on anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with what you think is gonna happen in Endgame and your predictions, I'd love to know. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check out. I will be spoiler free. I will say that now. I am gonna be spoiler free everywhere so don't worry about that if you're not seeing the film immediately and if you want to see any more of my videos where again i'll be talking about the avengers please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video but until next time guys bye